so uh, Pasha uh, has a good question about NFTs, um, and I think this is also like a big, Ooh. big important thing to talk about. Dreadlocks. Um, and also, uh, I think after this, uh, we're going to call it a day and we'll see you guys in the next podcast next week. Um, but yeah, I think it's important to talk about this for a second because mm-hmm. I think I don't understand it. So yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll break it down for you. So NFTs are basically like digital art and you can sell it online. That's the short thing for it. and it goes, uh, yeah. and you can sell it in different ways, but, uh, the most well the one that i've seen doing the most is on foundation and you basically do it through auction auction mm-hmm. and it's sold in uh cryptocurrency uh mainly ethereum ethereum mm-hmm. ether um so i released an nft last week and i think it's important to talk about what happened with that because well nothing really weird happened but i think people should know how the process goes so the first important thing is Uh, I feel like the market is getting a little bit oversaturated. So like in the first few Mm -hmm. weeks, almost every NFT got sold instantly, you know, and and people made like a lot of money from it. So it became really attractive for creatives. Um, So basically every designer in our community wanted to release NFTs and the big designers really made like quite a little bit Mm -hmm. of money about it, off of it. Um, And yeah. yeah, as an outsider, you see like a lot of designers making money out of nowhere, fairly looking easily. Um, so, uh, yeah, the the problem here, or the problem that I experience is, I can I can see if I if I wouldn't have dreadlabs and I wasn't really like that popular, there it would be way harder for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, for example, to get into the foundation platform, you can only get in there like in Clubhouse through an invite. And the only way as a creator on foundation to get an invite is to sell your NFT. So I cannot invite you to foundation mm-hmm. unless I sell uh, my first article mm-hmm. there, my NFT there. Um, so yeah, that's where um, that's where it gets hard for like smaller designers mm-hmm. or, you know, uh, and that's where like cloud or like how big on the internet you are mm-hmm. starts playing a role immediately. And then there's something else that a lot of people, I have no one seen talking about this, like, uh, and those are gas fees. And that's that's something that I even didn't even knew existed until like this week when I uploaded it. And gas fees are basically, now correct me if I'm wrong here, Chad, but uh, you pay money for the miners to connect to the blockchain uh, and to put your artwork like on the blockchain or something like that. Basically, you have a, you have to pay a fee every time you make contact with like the Ether network, mm-hmm. and I you, you have to pay once to mint it, and then you have to list it uh, so it will go up on the website live. And I paid one hundred and sixty dollars for that, and it can be more or it can be less, but a dollar or a euro. Dollar. Okay. Or in I I paid an Ether, but it yeah. converted to it was converted to dollar before. Um, and so you have you make an expense of one hundred and sixty dollars before you even sell them. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I mine's up there for two days days now and hasn't been sold. Um, I'm not like thinking that I'm not gonna sell it or I'm not mm-hmm. confident that I'm gonna sell it or something. But it's really important to to know that you like you you can't like it's this is not like a free quick easy buck or mm-hmm. something you know and i know it looks like that on social media but everything on instagram is better as it looks but it's a little bit harder than that and it also yeah. costs money and i think it's important that people know about that yeah it um, is. and yes like some people in the chat already have been saying uh i haven't really looked into this myself but i've been hearing that it's quite bad for the environment because of the mining um mining. And it, yeah it, 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 it's something to like power consumption like jackson says uh so the power cons yeah like oh he jackson explains it right nicely uh you're paying for the power the consumption to, uh, to connect to that blockchain and that's why it's called gas fee because you're paying for the energy they use to create to the service it's a little bit weird okay. um can just a quick, quick can they use just solar panels i'm not really sure how it works okay um <laughs> Uh, sounds but, really uh, outdated yeah there are there are also some uh like green green nft yeah. platforms which use like uh mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. uh, like more environmentally friendly uh, yeah. crypto or something. I agree, Jackson. Um, but yeah, and like Jackson says, fast fashion is even worse. Yeah. Um, but let's talk about that another day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought I, like I, I thought a lot of uh, designers. Really yeah, definitely. I think a lot of designers should know about those uh, crypto uh, mm-hmm. NFT. Uh, well, not dangers, but yeah, it's uh, it's something that I haven't seen a lot of. You people need to about. look into it before you start with it. Yeah, definitely. Um, so yeah, there's that on NFTs. Yeah.